Hello you beautiful people of YouTube and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to review the Techstar Pro 82 and you can see them right there and the title of the video will say, excuse me the title of the video will say smooth like a range rover and that is a weird title but it plays it plays into it now these headphones i bought for 72 dollars 43 cents right now they are going on amazon for 89.99 and they are on li express for 65 89 right now and i'm talking about the price because this is a headphone this 65 dollar headphone right now it competes in price higher in price ranges higher than where it is right now and i cannot say this time okay buy this best hundred best headphone under a under a hundred dollars and be done with it well, like i cannot give you that easy escape from this video this time because this is a product that i need to talk about and tell you w where it sits w with other uh, under a hundred dollar headphones like um status audio cb1 m40x the one i reviewed the last one um hyper x Stranger. So I don't know about best or better for these headphones, but they are as smooth as Range Rover. So let's review these headphones and find out if you want a Range Rover in your life. Now build quality. I'll start with the build and comfort. Um, they, are, they are made of cheap plastic but they do not feel like cheaply built there is no squeakiness anywhere this thing is smooth it doesn't make any weird noises and the plastic is uh, though it is cheap it it's okay to touch it doesn't feel like a um, hard rubbery plastic feels like smooth plastic and they are one of the lightest headphones i have ever picked up i they're insanely light and just when i was testing these for the review and i had not noticed it before that these have actually slightly angled drivers and i did not know that they had angled drivers they are not like extremely angled like some of the high-end ones but they're slightly angled and that explains why they have uh, good imaging which i will talk about later in the review so on the build it does have a 2.5 input which sucks because you cannot use it with uh, something like a V mode or Boom Pro. But if you are going to buy, end up buying these headphones as your main headphone, then you do not need to worry because there are some 2.5 uh, Boom Pro microphones that are available in the market right now, and I will link them in the description down below. Um, they fold flat like this. So you can slide it in a backpack, but they do not collapse. And I'm okay with that, you know. If if they slide in, I'm fine because, <coughs> excuse me, they are not small enough to put in a pocket. The only headphone that I really appreciate collapsing is the Cosporta Pro because I can actually put them in my pocket, not a jeans pocket. If I'm, if I'm wearing like um, one of those khaki pants or shorts, you know, I can easily do that. Now, these pads are very soft and supple and you ha if you wear glasses like me, then you might want to skip this headphone because these, ha these pads 
I don't think you can actually find a replacement for them. They are a very integral part of the headphone. And if you wear the glasses like I do, they will be, um, the seal will not be complete. So some sound will leak out and that is not good. So that is a big problem with this. But other than that, the comfort is actually amazing on these headphones. I have headphones that sound better than these that I cannot wear for more than an hour straight. I have to take them off, take a breather. Even these ones that I put like uh, pairs on that are more comfortable, they get hot. Never get hot, never get heavy, so light. Uh, you never have to take them off, no matter how long your listening or gaming session is. The only thing that was as comfortable as this for me personally was Sennheiser HD 800, but even those were heavier than this one. So I think this is the most comfortable headphone I have ever tried on across the like everything, <coughs> everything. Maybe some bears are good on that level, but I cannot recall any other headphone being this comfortable. And that plays into the continuity of the theme of this headphone because the sound is as smooth as comfortable these headphones are and that is a great way for me to transition you guys into the sound of these headphones and i'm gonna break down the sound into lows mid treble sound stage imaging efficiency all that stuff first and then i'll talk about how i feel about them so lows again you cannot wear glasses with these headphones because the seal is, will break and the frequency that is affected the most by breaking of that seal is bass. These have actually very neutral, ample, good full bass. They don't go very deep. They go deep enough that you can enjoy. But, uh, but they, it, it is very good but if you cannot get a seal you will think that these are actually base light and i have on them with um with my glasses too when i'm gaming because imaging is still there imaging does not get lost if you lose the seal but even then they are very good but the best way to experience the base on these is to have a is to not wear glasses and have a good seal. I don't know about your head. You might actually find them uncomfortable. Though I do not feel that that is humanly possible. But <laughs> very, very comfortable headphones with good, very good, ample, full bass. They are not bass monster. But it's like um, neutral, very... I don't want to use this word again and again for every headphone. I don't want to say perfect. But to me... Bass is good for uh, one of the best bass response I have heard in a warm headphone that has a warm tonality. Uh, if you want, oh, about, sorry, forgot to mention, these headphones do have bass ports. And I'm going to tell you this. Do not leave them. They have three positions, closed, semi-open. So this is uh, closed right now. You will see no holes. Then one more is semi open, you will see a small hole. And then one more is uh, all the way open. You cannot use these in any position other than closed because the bass will muddy up all the other frequency. This is a nice gimmick, it doesn't work. Uh, yep. Uh, if you want more bass than there is on the headphone, I actually recommend that you get a... If you have a bass boost on your amplifier, you use that or you EQ them. But do not use the bass ports. <sighs> okay, so... If somebody asks me what I enjoy the most about these headphones, I will say probably the uh, mids. <laughs> Because they have great mids, um, warm, neutral mids that have presence. And a lot of people say that they are V-shaped. And I think one of the reasons why those people say that it is V-shaped 
is because those people might not be getting the proper seal that you need to make these headphones work for you. So in my opinion, they are neutral. They're not flat. They're not V-shaped. They're not U-shaped. I think they're neutral to me. And I really, really enjoyed the mids on these. They're smooth. They're warm, neutral mids. Moving on. Moving on. Highs. Highs are in the continuation of that warm sound signature too. They are well extended, but they're not extended like a bright headphone. So they're well extended for a warm headphone. And there is one slight problem. I gotta be honest with you. I love these headphones. But I gotta tell you that there is too much energy around 8, 9 or 10k but it is not apparent in every kind of music that you listen to actually even the genre of music where I found that extra energy they, those were mostly the tracks that were recorded before digital recording was a norm so those were recorded analog and those were the only two tracks and I found the problem there was a little bit more energy and it was not harsh it, it it wouldn't drill your hole like that 5k peak on the ship 9500 it wasn't like that but you will feel the little bit of that energy in the headphone in that particular frequency only on a couple of tracks not on i did not see that problem a whole lot uh, it's kind of weird that they are a warm headphone the highs are actually well extended, not harsh, but just that particular range, just 7, 8, uh, eight 9, 10, you have a little bit more energy. So, highs were well extended according, accordingly in with the character of the headphone being a warm headphone. And <coughs> if you gave me a utopia or an lcd4 the highs like that's the party piece of those kind of headphones like you'll see oh my god i've never seen this track before but how long can you stay how long can you listen on an lcd4 it gets fatiguing after a while so you when you talk about highs you can listen to the music that has like maybe slightly harsh highs, but the way they are recorded, maybe this it was recorded by a gear that didn't re represent well, or maybe it is generally just. I'll give you an example. Uh, there is a song called "You Got to Have Freedom," Th that kind of song where highs are just harsh in nature. Like, and when you get like an intense headphone, they will just give you that problem. You cannot wear them for a long time. So highs, actually, people say that Sennheiser HD lineup, uh, 600, 650, 580, they have great highs. I don't think they have great highs. They just have non-fatiguing highs. This does the same thing in a different manner. <clears throat> Let's about uh, moving on. Let's talk about the efficiency. Um, very efficient, but they do scale up. So better gear, you will get better sound out. Details, very very detailed, but not extremely detailed. You will never feel like you're missing any part of your music, but you won't get that extra shimmer. Those that texture you get with the high high end headphones and it it is not i'm sorry there's a truck outside and it is not meant to do that so, sound stage and imaging they do not have a wide very wide sound stage the sound stage is actually pretty narrow it's about this much probably um Narrowest would be this like uh, HD 600 right here HD 600 R70X from Audio Technica Narrowest this is about this much. I think 
but there is a perception of a wider sound stage because of the great imaging they have these have some of the best imaging i talked about it before and that plays into making the sound stage even better than it is makes the great games i honestly played a game and i have to keep my glasses on to play games so i was like screw it i'm i can see without the glasses so i was like i'm gonna play a match and <clears throat> i played the match 15 minutes without the glasses then i put put glasses on and that match was one of the best matches i had partly because <laughs> partially because <laughs> i could see <laughs> better and the imaging of these headphones so great imaging headphones now how i feel what is the my verdict okay these are easy to dismiss chinese oem 70 bucks or oh, i don't want to deal with that i have hd 800 at home hd 650 at home hd 4x even in the 100 uh, $100 and less market cb1 is still the best headphone i can tell you that you can buy cb1 has wider sound stage more details and a uh, more accurate more neutral tonality but these have something different so when you are an audiophile and people would tell you that the requirement for meeting that uh that criteria of being called an audiophile is higher well, i think i generally think that if you have more than four headphones you are an audiophile if you are an audiophile then usually it goes like this you have one neutral can very neutral good can hd 800 what else clear something like that afc that's your reference and then you have a warm can i'm sorry a base can um fast xt h stuff um i'm not really a lot into base cans so but um audio technica m50x i just grading base i did not like the whole thing but the only thing i liked about m50x was the base um monoprice retros had good base deeper hitting bases base i heard was uh, the deepest i heard i think was ether c and stuff like that so then you have your highs can um sent um some of audio technical stuff the new one that came out has great highs um then you have a warm headphone and this is your warm headphone if you are on a low budget audio file habit so no matter what you play on it you uh, you'll never be fatigued you could play anything on it and for hours and you'll all and i'll tell people if you want to find out how good these cans are then you got to play two songs actually three um the first one is uh, manish boy by muddy waters and the live version of that the second one is chris jones long after you're gone also the live version of that the third one is um the guy that just died chris cornell uh like a stone unplugged version when you hear those songs on something like hd 800 you get all this details and not a perfectly recorded track but these details um they d- distract you from the musicality of the headphone and then you pick these up and you play those songs on these cans and you start feeling good so that is the magic of a warm headphone it just relax back and you just let the music take over you have musicality and there, there are a lot of warm cans on the high end that you can get that do the same kind of thing but usually the most i've seen people get is sony's mdr 
1A I think it is called it, it looks exactly like this and in a black color scheme and people get those and Techstar definitely copied the design of those headphones and <clears throat> other I really liked the MDR Z1R that was a warm can I really really like but on the low end this is a great can to just listen to the musicality of the music just to make you happy uh, when you're not critically listening you pick these up put them on your head and you're gonna have a good time no matter what so smooth like a Range Ro Rover and smooth like butter and just like butter goes the goes best with bread these headphones Techstar Pro 82 old school blues oh my god such a great experience it goes best with that genre of music old school blues old school soul um so that was my review i i really love these headphones even though i know that i cannot wear them a whole lot because of the glasses problem so usually when i go to sleep uh, i'll have a session just listening to music and i do that very rarely i do, i critically listen when i'm doing reviews but mostly i listen when i'm gaming and for gaming i have to get different cans but although they're very good for gaming even with the glasses on but like my nighttime setup is often occupied by Techstar Pro 82 get these if you are looking for a warm can you will really enjoy them imaging is the party piece warm tonality is the can't go wrong really if you want them it's not like the best under a hundred dollar headphone that is cv1 still for me and that was my review of the techstar pro 82 more stuff coming up i'm very excited i got a lot of chai fi stuff coming in there's an iem that is the uh, the video i'm known for is kzgs5 there's a new iem coming on and it is better than kzgs5 and i can wholeheartedly recommend it so i'm gonna uh, end the video right here i'm gonna end the video and i'm gonna see you probably in a couple weeks maybe one week if i get lucky and have a great week love ya bye